With the recent increase in the price of liquefied petrol gas or cooking gas, consumer complaints about the commodity have increased also. The Deputy Director of the Department of Consumer Affairs, Pariet Hooman, says there are more reports from the public about underfilling 20 and 100 pound cylinders. Hooman says those reports are worrisome, but there are mechanisms in place to protect consumers. We have received a number of complaints concerning the weight of the LPG. And that matter is being dealt with. As a matter of fact, there was a meeting sometime last week with the Bureau of Standards, which is the, on Ireland, the um, body that deals with metrology, and they'll be the ones who will be spearheading that sort of investigation. But the complaints concern your department? It's a consumer complaint, and it does concern us, but it's being, held with, it's being dealt with by the respective body, which is the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards. Head of the Metrology Department at the Bureau of Standards, Anselm Gitten, says the Bureau will monitor more closely the sites at which the cylinders are filled to ensure the accuracy of the quantity of gas being supplied. He says the department will also ensure that the proper control measures are being adhered to. We've been monitoring um, the, um, the filling points, but we recognize with the increased complaints and with the increase in the, the price of LPG that there is need for more vigilance on our part. Because there are several thousand cylinders in circulation, um, we would expect that the new measures, consumers would begin to see the effects of the new measures within the next three months. The investigation has been supported by one supplier of cooking gas. Managing Director of Our Gas, Everista Jamari, says the increased complaints from the public is expected because the product is more expensive and so consumers are more sensitive. But the problem needs to be kept in perspective because on a monthly basis you, in the industry you sell about 40,000 20 pound cylinders in a month. And if the complaints are like I am getting from the Bureau of Standards and the Consumer Affairs Department, then it, it amounts to very much a fraction of a percentage in terms of the number of bottles that have been filled. So it's not a, a big problem, but I mean if 50 people are complaining, that's 50 people with complaints and they need to be addressed. Jean-Marie says the investigation will benefit both consumers and the suppliers of LPG since they will be under pressure to keep their standards high. There are only three legal sites at which LPG cylinders are filled. Those sites are operated by Sol, Our Gas and Texaco. Shannon Lebon, HDS News, Channel 4.